Question 12b, part 1. Carefully sketch the graphs of y equals the absolute value of x plus 1 and y equals 3 minus the absolute value of x minus 2 on the same axes, showing all intercepts. The following diagram shows the graph of y equals the absolute value of x plus 1 and the graph of y equals 3 minus the absolute value of x minus 2 shown on the same set of axes. It is important to draw both graphs as neatly as possible and to scale. Now the graph of y equals the absolute value of x plus 1 is a right way up v shape with vertex at x equals negative 1 passing through the point negative 4 comma 3 y intercept of 1 and passing through the points 1 comma 2, 2 comma 3 3 comma 4 and so on. The graph of y equals 3 minus the absolute value of x minus 2 is an upside down v shape with vertex at 2 comma 3, x intercepts negative 1 and 5, y intercept of 1 and passing through the point 1 comma 2. Part 2. Using the graphs from part 1 or otherwise, find the range of values of x for which the absolute value of x plus 1 plus the absolute value of x minus 2 equals 3. The equation the absolute value of x plus 1 plus the absolute value of x minus 2 equals 3 can be rearranged so that it becomes the absolute value of x plus 1 equals 3 minus the absolute value of x minus 2. Now the absolute value of x plus 1 corresponds to one of the graphs drawn in part 1 as well as 3 minus the absolute value of x minus 2. So solving this graphically the solution corresponds to the points in common for both graphs. So going back to the graphs, we can see that the points in common occur from x equals negative 1 right through to x equals positive 2. Therefore, the solution is x is greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than or equal to 2.